In this video, we're going to make a crosshair in the center of our screen. And crosshairs are these things that look like this, that float around in front of your face in a game. It could be really anything you want, just uh, I'm going to do a crosshair. So you could just find one uh, that's transparent, I already did. So in assets, resources, you'll need a, well if you don't have the resources folder, that's capital R resources right click create folder resources inside that you'll need a tech um, folder called textures that's just where I'm gonna put it uh, you could call it anything but just to be clean right click create folder textures and in there I have a few textures and uh, this is the one I'm gonna be using crosshair so just uh, put something in there that you're gonna use now we're going to make the script, so in Assets, Scripts, right-click, Create, C-sharp script, call it Crosshair, and open that up. So here's where we'll write the code, but first I'm going to have to explain something. So this is uh, the situation we have. There's the screen height is right here, is this length. This is the screen width, and we need to get a couple things. First we need to get the coordinates here. So we need to get the uh, how far away it is from the left and how far away it is from the top. The coordinates of that. And we also need the size of this right there. So what are we going to do? Well for the um, first to get the size this is it's the crosshair is going to be a square and let's just say it's 10 percent of the screen width. The reason we're doing that instead of saying like, oh, 50 pixels or something is if you have a really, say uh, this is uh, my screen, if I have a really big screen, a really big TV, you know, it might be this tiny little thing for 50 pixels. But if I have uh, a different laptop with a tiny screen, maybe my crosshair will be huge. It'll be that big. So we don't want that. We're going to make it always 10% of the size. So this is going to be screen dot width times 0 0.1 will be 10% and that's the width and we're also going to do that for the height. Now for this coordinate here, this, this spot right here, the way we're going to get that is we're going to take the screen width down here except we're going to we're going to take that but we're going to divide it by two that'll get us here then we're going to subtract half of the crosshair width so here's crosshair width we're going to subtract that much so we're going to start here we're going to take half the screen size and then we're going to subtract half of the crosshair size and that'll get us this x coordinate here and same for the y so back to the code to draw the crosshair, we need two things. We need a texture and a rect, which will store all that uh, location data. So we need a rect. We're going to call it crosshair rect. We also need a texture. We're going to call it crosshair texture. So in start, we're going to set first set crosshair Let's start with crosshair texture. Textures with a capital T, crosshair. Oops. No. Autocomplete. Okay. Okay, so what this is doing is it's lo it's opening the file. And you only want to do this once in start. You do don't want to do this in update or a or on GUI is what we'll use. It's This would happen a lot. We only need to open it once. It's like when you open a, f a picture file on your computer, it takes, you know, a fifth of a second to open it. Well, you can't do that 60 times a second. It's too much. So now we're going to get the crosshair rect. It's going to be a new rect. So the way this works is it gives you a little tip. Left, top, width, height. So the left as we said, is going to be the screen width divided by 2 minus, oh yeah, okay, well, 
up here we're going to make a new thing called crosshair size. And it's going to be, like I said, the width times 0 0.1. And the F is just telling it's a, it's a decimal number. You have to just have to do that. So now we have crosshair size. Well, back here, our rect, the left coordinate, which again is this guy right here. That is going to be the screen width over 2 minus the crosshair size over 2. Okay, and then we do a comma, and now we're at top. The next argument is going to be screen.height over 2 minus crosshair size over 2 again. Now we're at the width. Well, that's just crosshair size, and the height is just crosshair size. So now crosshair rect gives stores all that info. We don't actually need update. What we do need is something a lot like update. So on GUI happens all the time, just like update, but it's made for drawing buttons and drawing textures. And that's a capital O, capital G, capital U, capital I. All we're going to do is GUI dot, where is it? Draw texture. So we need to give it a rect position. So that's crosshair rect. We need to give it a texture for the image. And that's going to be crosshair texture. Now we're just going to save this and attach it to our player. Oh, I had this. If you ever have a mono behavior, missing script, you know, it's because I deleted something or removed it. You can just click this little gear and get rid of it, but you might not have that here. So just add crosshair. Now when we pr press play, we have our crosshair in the middle. And this will work on any screen of any size. It'll be the same size crosshair. 